Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about self-tapping versus self-drilling screws and I'll specifically be going over what's the difference between these two types of screws. Let's get right into the video. As you can see right here on the left I actually have some self-drilling screws and on the right I have some self-tapping metal screws. Now many people actually get these mixed up so I just want to clear up the air. Now I'm not a professional, this is just what I've learned through doing various projects and various research over the years. So let's get right into the video. We're gonna start off with self-drilling screws. I'm gonna take one of these out, show you what they look like. Now, if you take a look at the self-drilling screw, what you're gonna notice is on the tip of the screw, there is this tiny little extra piece, okay? So these are the threads of the screw, okay, that tap it into the material, okay? Now, this piece right here is actually a tiny little piece at the tip of it that is designed to drill a pilot hole for the screw. So if you're drilling into metal, okay, let's say you're drilling into sheet metal and it doesn't have a pilot hole, you're gonna need one of these because you can't just drill right into metal, you need a pilot hole first, okay? So this will drill the pilot hole, okay, and then the screw will drop down into the pilot hole and these threads will allow it to tap itself into the material. So a self-drilling screw does not need a pilot hole because it creates its own pilot hole with the piece that you see right over there, okay? So that's one option. On the other hand, we have a self-tapping screw, okay? A self-tapping screw, as you see, has this regular tip at the end of it. And a self-tapping screw, in most situations, will need some sort of pilot hole. So this is a metal self-tapping screw, okay? Meaning you're gonna have to drill a pilot hole first in order to get this to tap itself into the metal, for the most part, okay? There are exceptions, but for the most part, you're gonna have to drill some sort of pilot hole to tap this into it, okay? Now, you can go ahead and use a wood screw that is a self-tapping wood screw, it just has this regular sort of tip, and it can just go into the wood. You don't necessarily need a pilot hole, but that's because the wood is a very soft material, so it allows you to just drill it, to just drill it right into um, the actual wood, okay? But when it comes to metal, it's a much harder material, the same uh, hardness as the actual screw, um, you're gonna need a pilot hole. So the cool thing about the self-drilling screw is the simple fact that it actually drills the right size pilot hole for the taps that it has over here, for the threads that it has. Whereas for a self-tapping screw, you have to figure out what size pilot hole you need, you have to drill that pilot hole, then you gotta um, fasten the screw down. That's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching